G'day guys, welcome back. I'm gonna do another little spin bloom. Now I've taken that big turntable off because I don't want it getting covered in paint. It's okay when I've got a big canvas, but it's just so hard to clean. So I've just got my little, my little tiny pink um, cake turntable thingy on it. Got a little bit of double-sided tape just under there just to help the tile stick, but it's pretty heavy, so it should just stay where it's told, like that. It's only a cheap little turntable. It's, you know, it's a little bit wonky, but it's only a small tile, so hopefully it'll be all right. Now, I want to test out a different color scheme because I get in a bit of a rut with my colors. So I've got a red and an orange. Payne's grey and sand. Let's try not to put it in the paint. And then some pink and my white cell activator. This is a three to one ratio. Three parts Floetrol and one part Amsterdam titanium white. You don't have to use Amsterdam. You can use um, Atelier, Atelier, however you want to pronounce it. They work well too. I haven't tried the other brands. I've only tried those. Now let me get my gloves on. I'm just going to use my gloves from yesterday. Okay, waste not, want not. If I can get my fingers into them, they will stuck together. And I'm using the same puppy pedal pad. You know, we we go through so many supplies. We need to try and use things over and over again, don't we? So we don't waste too much. Okay, um, I'm going to just take the lids off all of these. Just it's easier to pour out a puddle. Whoops, I'm not sure I get them in my right order. Now, what did I say? Red, then orange, then Payne's Grey, then the tan, then the pink. So the pink will be directly underneath my cell activator. So we're going to get like a, a pink flash because whatever colours directly under your cell activator it usually takes over. So I just put a little bit on. Uh, Pillow Paint is the British Paints uh, Wall Lotion White. I just got this on top. It makes it really easy to pour out of. Just pour a, a puddle out. A little bit more. I like it about an inch from the edges so that it can spread enough. All right, and we'll get started before it all flows off. There's my red. Now these are all the Joe Sonia's paints. Um, I'll show you the bottle. That's the red there, Naphthol Crimson. That's my red. And orange. Try and pour in the middle rather than off to the edge. Just putting the nozzles back on as I go in case I knock anything over. Payne's grey. Hopefully these colours will work together. I haven't had very much luck lately with some of my colour schemes. I shouldn't put, I love purple and orange and green together, but they don't really go. You know, purple and green make mud, um, orange and turquoise make mud. So now a little bit less of the pink. Whoa, 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 whoa stop, I said less of the pink. <clears throat> oh, forgot to show you. Look, I'm using my nozzle that comes with the hairdryer, but I've closed off two thirds and I've only got a third in the middle so hopefully the paint will just flow through there. All right we'll see how that goes. Now I'll just use the nozzle with the white because I only want a little bit. Don't put too much white on otherwise you'll end up with a big white center and the paint won't move. And you'll have the huge white center. All right let's try this. I'm going to hold it upside down try and just get the white. And turn as I blow. Okay. 
Well, that wasn't wonderful, but it did the job. I've still got a lot of white in the middle. I wonder if my little fan blower will get any of those lacings up underneath. Not really. I don't want to I don't want to disturb the lacing that I've got. Um, I think some people they, they see the lacing and then they just sort of like blow over it, but it kind of ruins what you've already got. So I'll try not to do that. I'll just wait a minute. So I haven't got much lacing around here at all. It was sinking, wasn't it? That white. I have been using the two to one cell activator instead of the three to one because it's a bit thicker and it seems to just sit on the puddle a little bit better. So I might do that and I don't know how these colors are gonna work. Oh my gosh, did I do another bad color choice? Oh look, the white's filling up. Yeah, so don't, I guess don't be too worried if you end up with a, a quite a lot of white. Just wait a couple of minutes because the lacing kind of grows and the white absorbs some of that lacing. So it might not be too bad. I don't know that the Payne's Grey was a good choice in there. <laughs> we shall see. Just give that a minute. Um, I don't know, how did that work? Did you think that worked okay? A little nozzle like that? Because if I, if I was blowing from that wide, instead of just blowing the white, I'd be blowing all the colour. So that's why I've done that. Because you only want to blow the white over the top of your other colours. Oh, look at that. There's hardly any white left. All right, let's spin this baby. Round she goes. Where she stops, nobody knows. Okay, so I need to get rid of this bright orange corner there. Might just bring that down a little bit. The weight of that paint. <laughs> Picking up my turntable as well. All right, here we go again. I think you could actually get away with spinning without putting it in a, a box or something because if you, I mean, you can't see the sides, but there's nothing on the sides. It's all down here. It kind of spins down. Okay, <laughs> well there you go. Um, I don't know about those colour choices, woman, what are you thinking? But you can see how I mean about the colour that you put underneath the cell activator, it really takes over, so you need to have just a little bit of that. My pink came out a little bit too fast. Um, I might do another one, seeing I'm on a roll here. Uh, where can I put this one? Paint on my fingers, picking up something else. I'll just bring you down for a close up, get these gloves off, and then um, I might do another one. I might just do my blues and greens. I love blues and greens. I don't think I'm going to take the camera down. I'm just going to do another one. You can see that okay, can't you? So yeah, I don't think the orange, see orange and blue don't go together. And I've used orange with the Payne's Grey, so yeah, I don't know. I might do the same colours, but leave out the Payne's Grey. What do you think? See how that goes. I need to buy myself some Jo Sonia's Black, so I can put a bit of black in there. Um, okay, we'll zoom there. It's still pretty though. All right, let me get that back down my ladder. Um, I might blow with my fan blower next time and just see what the difference is. Let me grab another tile. I'm going through my tiles, I tell you. Put the Payne's Grey over there. Oh, what about a bit of yellow? Yeah, let's try that. Put the Payne's Grey out. Just put some 
another pair of dirty gloves on. Um, just try and leave that behind. See, I've just got a piece of tape on the bottom there. I'll bring this up to you. It's easier than me trying to bring the camera down, especially with dirty gloves. Actually, no, I won't. Change my mind because I'm not going to be able to focus it again with the gloves on. So I put that. I've got a, a cookie cooling rack. And I put my tiles on just to dry. Okay, let's put this one back down. Try and get it in the center. Stick it down. Right. So I've taken the paints gray out. I've got some yellow. Got some red. Some orange. Pink. Should I put that one in as well? I might leave that one out. What can go with those? Mm. How, about a, oh, how about a bit of gold? A bit of gold. Let's do some gold. Put some gold in. It's almost the same as the other one. It's a pale gold. So we'll do that, okay? Um, I won't do pink on the top this time. I might start with the red. And then go with the yellow. No, red, yellow, a uh, red, orange, pink. Oh, I don't know. I'm trying to get my order right here. That'll do. Let's put some paint on while you guys are just staring at a blank tile. Sorry. <laughs> Put a little bit less pillow paint on. There we go. That's enough, isn't it? You really don't need... I mean, you need enough because you have to make it spread. But it's pretty thick. And I'll try not to get paint all over my little bottles. Is that a hair? There's a hair in there. Get out. Okay, <clears throat> red. And I think I'll use my, I'm going to use my barbecue blower this time, just so that you guys can see what the difference is. Orange. Seems a little bit thicker than the others. I have to thin him out a little bit. Yellow. So start with the whoa. Start with a big blob on the bottom, and as you get closer and closer to the top, reduce the size of your puddles, so that the one underneath the white is the smallest, and then the size of your white is usually about the same size as the the top colour that you've just done. It's like a little pyramid. I don't know that gold on top of yellow was such a good idea, but anyway. Okay. Right, a little barbecue blower. Do your thing, buddy. Straight down. Wriggle it a little bit as I go out. a lot of yellow lacing. I'm not seeing much of any other colour. Okay. <clears throat> See what a good job he does? He's, he's a good little boy. Yes, you are. You're a good little boy. You've got control over where you're blowing. Oh now we've got some colour coming through. So you go down and then turn it. It's not very strong, but you've seen what the hairdryer does. It just blows everywhere. You've got no control. I had no lacing on my exterior. I had a little bit in the middle there. 
I mean, it stretched out okay, but it had a lot of blank area on the edges without any lacing. So the barbecue blower, or fan blower, he's great. Got him from eBay. This takes a D-sized battery in there. Okay, that's looking really pretty. Now let's see if we can center it a little bit so that everything kind of runs off at the same time. As I said, this is a little bit wobbly. If you want to, you know, while you're waiting for your center, you can just spread the, the paint to the corners. That way the paint can run over a wet corner than a dry corner, just makes it a little bit easier for it. You don't have to, I mean, you saw how I did it last time, it just spun right off. But if you're waiting and you've got nothing to do, you can do that. Okay. Can't really see, oh, I was gonna say you can't really see the gold. You can see a little bit of gold in there. <clears throat> Maybe the gold would have been better between the red and the orange. It's very similar to yellow, isn't it? Radio. Let's spin this baby. You're dizzy watching this, don't you? Okay, stop. Stop, stop, stop. Ooh, look at that. I love that. I'm going to move this down a little bit. Push it back down and off we go. Plenty of paint. If you don't have enough paint, you have to spin, 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 spin so much to get to the edges, and then you might ruin your lacing because you've, um, you know, overstretched it. Just moving it back over that way a little bit. Try and get the weight of the paint to go down there because I want to get that corner covered. I don't want to lose this top bit, and off we go. Okay, this one's like pomegranate or tangerine or something like that, hey? It's a citrus pour. Okay. <clears throat> Still got a little bit of pink on the corners there. We've got four bits, so uh, it's tough because I'll probably go one more time, but this is really pretty here. I don't want to lose too much of this off the edges. And it's got to the stage where there's really not enough paint left on here for me to like tilt it. But I'll go one more time. I guess if you kept, you know, you went a couple more times, you'd get rid of those. Um, I don't know, you probably wouldn't. I was going to say you could get rid of those, but it's too big. You could probably get rid of, no. Nah. So they're, they're quite big. If I had my puddles bigger, uh, they would have covered the tile a lot easier. I mean, my puddles were big, but... If I'd made them bigger, then the paint would have spread further. So, but that's still really pretty, isn't it? <laughs> oh. <clears throat> this is so much fun. I've got to go to work soon, but I wanted to come and do one. What's the time? Quarter to eight in the morning. I've got an hour before I'm going to go and get ready for work. I've had my shower though, so that's a good thing. Okay, now I'm going to take you down. Actually, I'll get the other one out and then I can take you down and show you both of them next to each other. I'm going to get my gloves off. I don't want to get paint on my, too much paint on my fingernails though, because I've got to go to work. Let me just move everything out of the way here. And then I'll put these two tiles up here next to each other so that you can see them. One. Come on, you. Now I'm going to get. Oh, I'm going to get paint all over me. Oops. And I have to wash you. Yes, I will. Um, okay. 
we've sorted. Let me go and get you down for a close up. I seem to be just looking at an empty piddle pad at the moment, aren't you? So there's my my big one drying under there. Let's have a look at her. I did her yesterday. Drying beautifully. Oops, put the net back over her. Keep all the bugs off. Okay, so here we go. Here's the two that I've just done. That's the first one. Reminds me of a giraffe. <laughs> See the sand colour? It's it's really pretty, hey? It just kind of borders the lacing. I guess the paint's grey. It's not too bad in there. So that corner there is no lacing. Lots of pink lacing in the middle because I poured out too much pink. It sort of came out in a big blob. I guess... Yeah, lesson learned. Maybe you can take the nozzle off and do the bigger puddles, but then when you get to the top two, just take the nozzle off. Uh, just use the nozzle. That way you're not getting too much paint. Uh, yeah. And see how the yellow was underneath the cell activator? So it's the more dominant colour as well. So whatever's underneath your cell activator is going to be more dominant. Got some more yellow over there. This half here is more red with a touch of pink. But how pretty is that lacing? And I know I've got a few of those sort of blobby bits, but they kind of balance. There's two on the top and two on the bottom. So I don't think they're too bad, hey? So there we go. There's those two. A two for today. Two for one in a video. Aren't you guys lucky? All right, well, I need to go and get ready for work, clean up, and um, tomorrow I'm going to do these colours. I've got some peach, peaches and pinks, purples, peaches, pinks, purples. That's what I'm going to do tomorrow. Uh, big flip cup pull. All right, so um, thanks for watching. And I'll see you for the flip cup pull real soon. Might not be straight after this one. I might change the order around, but I'll see you real soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.